The rules have changed. There's a fine line between right and wrong. And somewhere, in the shadows, they send us in to find it. Watch your six actual. Target is in the main house. You have execute authority. Bravo six. Going dark. Start the clear! What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it is Grand Theft Bomb here, back with another video on the Saltire Gaming channel. It has been a minute since our last video, an absolute minute, so I do apologise uh, that we've not uploaded in a while, well, me specifically. What we're going to be talking about today is the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare. You've just seen the trailer, so you understand that obviously what's going on. If you watched any videos from any other YouTubers, like Nero Cinema or Prestigious Key, uh, both their videos were amazing. Prestigious Key video was 20 minutes long. It broke down the two missions that he got to play whilst he was there, checking out the game um, at Activision Studios and actually got to play hands-on with the game. Played the two missions all the way through and described exactly what happened or to the best of his recollection of what happened in each mission. So, from what I gather for each mission is that there is a more realistic and close to home story going on here. You get to see death of innocent people within the missions. You can shoot innocent people and actually see them die, holding the gun wound and actually seeing the blood pour out with certain wounds, depending on where you shoot them in the body. Limbs can fly off. You can see entry and exit wounds. There is car bombings, gas bombings. Some missions are set in London, some missions are set in the Far East. The two missions that were specific to this beta as such, or like the trial version of the game that they guys got to play, was two or three missions specifically, one in the Far East and one in London. Um, as you can see in the trailer, of course, as well, that Captain Price is back, and he did mention at the end of the trailer that there are other task team members that he'll be joining with. We assume, or I assume at least, that it will be Soap McTavish, um, or any of the old cast returning, like Ghost, for example. Now, going back to what's returning in this game compared to the other Modern Warfare games in the series, obviously, this is a reboot, so it technically has nothing to do with the previous series. Uh, the returning guns are the AK-47, SCAR, M4, and 911. Uh, which would be the pistol. Now these guns are classics for the whole Modern Warfare series. Modern Warfare 2 through to Modern Warfare 3, all these guns were always within the game. They were always big parts of the game. You'll see some gameplay in the background of me using the MP5 um, as well as other guns that were say like the XMLAR which was a DLC gun. I'm hoping that they bring some sort of element back to Modern Warfare where you can actually get DLC guns but they're not overpowered, they're actually at the same power level as the base game guns. And a good example is the AK-47U or the AK-74U. That gun is probably the most overpowered gun in Modern Warfare Remastered. As well as the perks, the perk system, I hope they bring it back and dial it back to the way it was. Stopping power, marathon and bandolier. Those were the three specific perks that I would normally run. Dialing it back to the campaign, it's different from the from the traditional campaign that we're used to. Again, it's more realistic close to home story, the death of innocence, there's death of innocence within the mission you're getting to see specific things that are close to home um, and they're more realistic in a way. The close quarters and the scale of every building that you go in is now one to one so obviously when you're going upstairs you're going to be face to ass with your comrades as you're walking upstairs, as you're going downstairs, um, you'll be able to see everything on a one-to-one -one scale as you would in real life. The night vision goggles in the game don't just add a green glare over the screen or even like just sort of a green backdrop on the screen or a colouring. You're actually able to see infrared things within the game. You can see them glow in the dark and you can actually see things in the dark specifically. It essentially makes it crystal clear in the dark. It does make sense because if you've used night vision goggles in real life you can kind of understand what you're meant to be able to see compared to what the old games actually showed you. There is also bullet penetration in this game similar to Rainbow Six Siege and Battlefield how you can actually shoot through walls and see through the bullet hole in the wall. They also there is a returning there's a few returning scopes in the game that you got to see in those two missions. The red dot sight and the two times scope. Now the 
two times scope is different. Instead of it being an FOV zoom um, and having the exterior of the actual lens itself blurred out like for the, they introduced that within Ghost, it's a more realistic zoom, so it is literally a magnifying glass in the centre of the screen, so it is what a realistic two times scope would actually be if you've ever played Airsoft or even if you're part of the army yourself, you should know that obviously a two times scope isn't what Call of Duty used to show you. There's no information on multiplayer as of yet, but we all can sort of assume what it's going to be. Gathering all the information from the basics of what the campaign had been showing us and what's going on in there and obviously what we can do most of that will transfer over to the multiplayer mode allowing you to get a general idea of what it's going to be like and how great it's actually going to be it's going to be insane comparing it to black ops 4's launch comparing it to black ops 1 2 3 and 4 went how there was no campaign and it was replaced by the battle royale mode and hoping that there is no battle royale mode in this game and as far as i'm aware this game can also be played in co-op which is again a return for the call of duty series it hasn't came back for a long time and there's a lot of things missing compared to what obviously with other previous titles in the series. The thing that I miss has to be the, the fast pacing, the semi realistic but also super arcadey speed of the actual multiplayer itself how you can run around corners super quick get killed kill people super fast go in tears kill streak and just tear the whole lobby apart and be your own beast um, and it's just that's what i miss about that even i even miss boosters sitting in corners with tactical with a tactical insertion going for headshots that is what i miss as well that is insane i miss that i miss seeing people do that and killing them as they're doing that because it's hilarious it's what made the call of duty franchise so brilliant fun and what everyone misses about it i think the one thing they should never bring back has to be one man army as well so that will probably never return as they know that that mechanic was completely broken i'm hoping if they bring back noob tubes then that they don't ruin it um, and they don't fuck it up like what they did with the previous one and if they do then obviously people will moan about it but again it's throwing it back we'll all love it if you everyone will remember coming home from high school in those early days finishing at half three or even half two for some people in certain places i'm from the uk so half three getting in at four o'clock firing call of duty on potentially getting your dinner before playing cod and then jumping on it's, it was just it was memories we all missed those memories of going to play cod with your friends fortnite kind of filled that void for a while but then it became to the point of everyone's just a complete sweat in cod you can jump in mindless monkey and still still exit every game with it at an insane amount of kills it doesn't matter how good or how bad you are at the game you can still play well at the game but again pure speculation i think that this game is going to be way better i think that activision and infinity ward know exactly what they're doing i feel like they'll understand that this isn't for the comp scene this isn't for this is for the fans this is pure fan service to bring everyone back into the call of duty scene to bring everyone that's left to play fortnite to play battlefield to play rainbow six anyone that's left can now come back and actually fire in and enjoy call of duty and enjoy a proper in-depth story that actually means something now that the story is actually hitting harder at home people will recognize this i mean like one of the scenes was a, a, a car a car bombing in london that's that's actually happened i live in the uk so i know that that sort of thing actually happens i mean the sort of um the mission where you where prestigious key was describing the mission where you go into a, a block of flats it's a four by four so it's four high four along you go in those flats there's terrorists in the flats you go through you kill each one you end up having to shoot a civilian as well who goes for a gun it, it, it hits hard to home you know it's like no russian from modern warfare 2 that that mission really put it out there like it had to they even gave you the option to not have the mission in the game that's how real that mission became that was on the news that mission that was insane that mission was like one of the most interesting and bizarre missions that everyone got anyone got to play if you were around for that game coming out you would know that 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 mission was it was weird to play it because you had to shoot civilians but you didn't have to shoot the civilians that and you could have just disabled it as well you can also disable gore and stuff like that but this game is going to obviously it's going to be more realistic it's going to be the most realistic Call of Duty game that we have probably ever seen in regards to obviously people getting shot, shooting, recoil, all that good stuff. There's even a mission where you play as a little child holding on to certain guns and the recoil is insane. That's that's as real as it gets without the person actually dropping the gun because if a toddler shot a desert eagle they would almost 100% drop that gun. There's no way they would be able to hold that. Same with an AK-47. I don't even think that they would be able to pick one of those up because of the weight of it. It's, it's a big cylinder block of metal you know going back to obviously just talking purely about why what speculation i think i just genuinely think this game's going to be insane we should all be hyped for it we should all be excited for it the game is going to be great again the return of weapons ak-47 scar m4 and 911 we all love those guns the scar is one of my favorite the ak-47 is also my favorite the m4 eh not my favourite gun, the M14 was, the M16 sorry, was my favourite gun, the 911 I never used but it's a gun that's returned to the Call of Duty franchise over and over and over again and it will always come back. But yeah, if you guys have any speculation or information you want to talk about, please leave it in the comments below. If you want to see more videos relating to Call of Duty, let me know as well. I will be trying to get a more steady upload schedule, maybe one a week, maybe twice a week, probably more than likely to be one a week to try and keep up with it and keep regular and then maybe move to two a week. The release date for the new Call of Duty is October 25th, 2019, so be hyped for that. I'll be there at the midnight launch or I'll be 
be buying it online to be ready for me to be able to play at midnight, bang on the dot, and then I'll get a few gameplays and upload them for you guys to see exactly what it is. Um, I'll do a run through the campaign, and that way you guys can see what it's like, what it's doing. I've got a PlayStation Pro, so it kind of helps. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys have a lovely night. Peace.